as we now go to Loren Ross, who won the most recent national championships in Super G. But this is one courageous skier that tends to go all in, mm -hmm. and we'll see if she has the touch out there. Her, usually her problem is that she goes too hard and crashes all together. <laughs> well, you don't want to slow that kind of aggression down either. She's got great spirit, and you want to keep that, that spirit going. Great in motivation as well. If she has an inspired run here, she's going to be hard to beat. But these turns will be very telling, as they have been for everyone so far. And that's not a good first sign. 37 hundredths of a second behind the pace. And she has been leading McKennis all season long. In fact, outside of Lindsey Vaughn, Loren Ross has definitely been the strength of the speed team. Oh, and that's a little bit of a scrambly turn right there. Across that fall away, you're just hanging on as you're being pulled by gravity down the hill, and you're trying to cut across it. Boy, she has a great season going this year. Fourth in Lake Louise, fourth in Cortina, but lots of mistakes here, and she's got some ground to make up now. 35 hundredths of a second. She's got to stay in that bullet tuck and don't break it. Interesting. Sometimes when you're up against the very best in the world, the best comes out, but when the pressure is on you, it can be a different story. Ross coming into this one, no question among the favorites. Well, there's very little room down at the bottom. She's trying to work those skis, work some speed out of them towards the finish. And running out of real estate is Ross as she gets yeah, there right in the fifth the place. Line, but as you look back at that run, it, it fell short of perfection, no doubt. Well, it did, and then maybe that's the pressure of having to try and compete against these youngsters on the snow. And as Stacy Cook said, I don't think it's very important that this is a snow condition they haven't skied on a whole lot this winter. That might have a lot to do with it.